I'd never seen her respond to the TV before. Is something the matter? Not really. Those were her usual words, but her response was anything but usual. And I looked at the screen, interested in anything that could move her so. There were nature scenes being displayed on TV, beautiful hills and dales burgeoning with trees and flowers, and a vast spread of white flowers in the midst. I remembered those flowers from somewhere. They looked very similar to the white flowers that decorated the windowsills. Could those be the same flowers? Hmm. You know, the same as those over there? I pointed to the flowers by the window as I said this. No. Huh, really? They're of the same variety, but they're not strictly the same. She glanced at the flowers by the window for a second and then went back to gazing at the TV. She told me that they were different, but I couldn't see the distinction between the two. And it meant nothing to me whether flowers were the same or different, but what did mean something was this girl, who usually never said a word more than she needed to. She was conversing in rare form today, which was why I decided to follow along. Do you happen to know a lot about them? Flowers, that is. Not really. Really? But I don't see the difference. The flowers on the screen and the flowers in the vase to her side. I continued to talk as I stared vacantly at the two. Look, look, are these orchids or lilies? Hmm. See, they're pure white, right? Hmm. I had no interest, yet I kept trying to make conversation. But she resumed her silence soon enough. And with her usual lack of expression, she continued staring at the boring TV screen. And just when I turned back to the TV, resigned to the fact that I'd get nothing more out of her, Narcissus. What? Those are Narcissus. Ah, we got our first look at the actual, actual girl, and her eyes are freaky as all hell. Like, oh my... What is up with those? They kind of like... Are there even eyes in there? It just looks like it goes straight to the sockets. Any, anyway, anyway. And she answered. She turned to face me for the first time. Her hip-length hair swaying. She pointed at the TV screen and looked at me. The ID bracelet on her wrist was white. Her skin was white, just like the flowers on screen. And I swore I could see a tiny smile on that face that was looking at me for the first time. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, we've done the prologue and chapter one. We're in chapter two. The Silver Coupe. We could be getting out of the hospital. Yes. Yes! <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, whew. Let's not panic. Let's go. January 16th. A few days later, plunging further into the depths of winter. During this time that the rest of the world called exam period, we were sitting watching TV, same as ever. This is boring. So it is. This exchange that could not even be called a conversation. We'd spent all our days in this fashion, killing time without meaning or purpose. Speaking of which, when is it for you? Today. I see, so it's today. That word, that today, was the temporary discharge that she'd alluded to earlier. So, we may not see each other again. Hmm? Yeah, I guess that's true. Because even if she were to be readmitted to 7F, that would be her last time. And in that time, I'd probably be discharged and readmitted myself. It didn't seem likely that things could be timed so that we could see each other again. 
have you decided yet? About where I'm going to die? Yeah. No, not yet. I see. She nodded somewhat sadly, the expression of someone being discharged for the second time. I still felt nothing about the situation, and I hadn't heard from the doctors about my first discharge. Come to think of it, I wondered if she'd finally decided what her own answer to the dilemma would be. Ooh, is it crotchety old nurse? Um, I'm going to assume it is set to me. Everything's set. A lady, oh, uh, it's not crotchety old nurse. A lady came up to us with these words. This was probably her mother. She nodded slightly at me. I did not rise. You'll be leaving soon, but are you all ready? Yeah. Well, have a nice day, sir. She nodded slightly at me again and then turned to leave this place. She did not stretch out her hand toward that girl who was likely her daughter. Hmm. <laughs> but the girl did not move at all. She stayed rooted in her chair even after her mother had grabbed her hand. What's wrong, said Sumu? It hurts a little. What? Where? Your chest? Your abdomen? My chest. Stay right here. I'll call the doctors right away. And there she goes. She took off in visitor use slippers in a sprint toward the nurse's station. There were but two things left in this place. Her and me. Both in chairs. That's three things! Chairs! Ha ha ha! <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to find levity in this game somewhere, just wherever I can find it. Oh, God. Ugh. Onward. I did not know a thing about her disease or its status. The only things I knew were courtesy of her white ID bracelet. Her name was Setsumi, and her blood type was O. But we were inhabitants of 7F, and she was older than me, if just by a little. Hey, do you want to lie down over there until the doctors come? I pointed at the corner of the lounge, at the couch, at something that I'd never seen used. I'll support your back, after all. It'll, it'll, it'll support your back. He's not quite that forward. Okay, I'm going to stop getting ideas. <laughs> I'm sorry, these dots just keep coming up, and I assume that each time it does, the hmm just gets a little more intense. Doesn't matter. I'm fine now. Saying those words and nothing more, she stood up quickly. Hey, wait! Don't do anything foolish. But she was already halfway down the corridor before I could finish the sentence. Maybe she was... Maybe! Maybe! She was thinking about staying with him. Nightfall, after lights out. Bored of reading manga as usual, I wandered through the darkened hospital. The usual lounge, now pitch dark from the absence of light. That was where I found her. Hey, so you're still here? Yeah. What's up? Not feeling well again? Not really. Was all she said as she stared at the window. So her discharge had been postponed after all. No one knew when the next chance would come, but it'd probably be weeks from now, not days. Hey, could it be that you feigned illness today? No, that probably wasn't the right way to put it. See, you couldn't say that we weren't sick all the time. What I'm saying is, you didn't want to leave the hospital, did you? I don't know what you're talking about. Because there is no afterwards for you now. <laughs> but there was no answer to my question in her silence. She'd asked me so many times before about where I wanted to die, and it had always been that I didn't know yet, and that she didn't want to die at home or here on 7F. So you... have 
no other place to go after all. And what of it? No, nothing. This familiar lounge flooded in darkness. Her familiar stance looking out the window without so much as acknowledging my existence. This place we called a hospital and its extinguished lights in spite of the fact that it was only 11pm or so. This was the tangent point between what was normal and what was not. On top of that, we were inhabitants of 7F, bereft of any choice save one, death on 7F or death at home. The outside world that she was staring at from the pitch black height of 7F, the normal world, the buildings and homes were still radiant with light and the street overflowed with people going home, and although my awareness of it was still vague, I was already an inhabitant of 7F, already an abnormal existence. There was no longer any way for me to go back to that other world, was there now? My time was at a standstill. I'd spent so many seasons, so many white, overcast skies, without the want or need to converse with anybody. At first, I'd look down at the healthy kids going to school and the people walking back and forth in the streets, and when I got tired of that, I always watch TV. Nothing else to do. Nothing else I could do. Even when there was snow outside, it was always bright and sunny inside the TV screen. A dream world, stretching out before my eyes with heat, without cold, without pain, 